Welcome to this Gutenberg highlight as the block editor gets ready to become a site builder. Introduced last year, patterns are a major component of the Gutenberg roadmap. They can be as simple as single blocks or as complex as a full page layout. The selection tool is optimized for navigating through the block structure. It shows the name, icon, and outlines of the block as you hover and move around. An improvement worth highlighting is when a block is nested, its parent container will always show up to the left of the toolbar. This outline is also present for parent blocks, making it easier to reason what the block boundaries are and allowing changes you want to do. Several improvements have been made to drag interactions across the board, which includes dragging media inside any container blocks or patterns. And speaking of design tools, inline cropping is a major feature that allows quick customizations without leaving the editor canvas. We're constantly exploring ways to surface relevant block transformations. Two quick examples are adding an overlay text to an image block, which transforms the image block into a cover, and adding pattern controls that show these overlaid bars as you interact with the control. There are multiple ways to move blocks around. A great feature is the ability to copy or cut an entire block to paste it somewhere else. It's as simple as focusing a block and pressing Command X. The selection tool highlighted earlier incorporates drag and drop as well, and there are more improvements planned for these features. The inserter panel now also supports drag and drop to insert blocks and patterns in specific places. Let's now get into transforms. Transforms are so important that we have incorporated live previews for every transform target so you can check what each one does before changing your content. They also work with multi-block selection and are contextual to what are the most relevant targets for the blocks. You can convert a group of blocks into columns or, if the text is short enough, into a row of buttons. It works just as well with other block types like images to make a gallery or a slideshow. An upcoming update will integrate patterns with block creation and transforms, allowing to choose a specific pattern as a starting point for a specific block directly in the canvas. One of our major focuses is expanding the set of design tools to be able to power all the things we want to do with themes and patterns. Let's now take a look at the cover block. It is now possible to drag an image to set it as the background directly. It's also possible to drag an image and set it as a child block so you can get some cool effects by manipulating focus, overlay gradient, and padding. It's several tools coming together. The results can also be packaged as a pattern, so they are one click away from being widely accessible. This was just a glimpse of what's going on into the block editor. Let's now take a look at what's next. One feature we're looking forward to are duotone image filters. If you imagine a grayscale image where the shades of gray are replaced with a color gradient of your choice, that's duotone. The navigation block is becoming more and more robust with more options and child blocks to choose from. Its list view allows seeing the menu structure from a different perspective, useful for handling multiple nested submenus. More customization options are available to entirely change how the navigation looks. Features like automatic collapse into an icon menu with an overlay on smaller viewports. Changing the template of a page or post is also going to be deeply integrated with the editor. The full site editor is also helping improve the list view browser to get a better sense of how blocks are laid out on a page. When selecting a parent group or a template part, you can also get an easier overview of all its children. And last but not least, a new global styles design is also coming. 
It streamlines changing how elements and blocks look across the site. These improvements are crucial as the block editor gets ready to become a site builder. Thanks for watching.